kill with my imprisonment. Huh? Oh, um... Ah, Mr. Prince. Beacon, call, call me, me Siren. Um... D did you speak to the other sharks? Yes, they... Were they angry? Oh god, are you being exiled? What? No. Are they gonna kill us both now? This is so horrible. How could they do that to their own prince? Kappa, calm down. I lied to them. They still think I want to kill you. I told a fib to buy us some time. Uh oh. Anyway, here, I brought food. You must be starving. You eat, right? Does the beacon eat? Yes, I eat. So, how come you're eating here and not with the other sharks? Uh, well, I usually eat by myself. Really? Are the other sharks mean to you? No, it's nothing like that. Is it unbearable to hear them praise you? It's hard to deal with every day, especially knowing you'll never live up to their expectations. It... yeah, that's exactly right. You... you read minds? Amazing! I didn't know the beacon could do that! No, I can't read your mind. Oh. Shouldn't we be thinking of an escape plan? Oh, don't worry. I've already figured it out. First, I'll find the key to your cell and unlock it. Then, I'll make a huge scene so you can swim past everyone while they're distracted. Then, all you have to do is swim out of the castle and you're free! That won't work! Huh? If I could swim around freely, I wouldn't be here in the first place! I don't go to castles and fulfill prophecies because I want to. I do it because I have no choice. Every prophecy has an object or a person that acts as a catalyst. It's someone or something that I have to interact with in order for a prophecy to be fulfilled. Whenever I swim too closely to a prophecy, an invisible force pulls my body towards its catalyst, and I can't leave until the prophecy is complete. In this case, the catalyst that pulled me here. It's you. These bars prevent me from following you around, of course, but without them, I'm physically unable to leave your side. Until the prophecy is fulfilled. All this time, I was told that you would come here willingly, that you wanted to die. I didn't know you were being strung around like a puppet. That's messed up. Why is it like that? Well... You're right about my plan. I can't sneak you out if we're literally stuck together. Hmm. Is there another way to break the prophecy's hold? It'll disappear if I get far away enough from you, but that's not really an option, since I need your help to get out of here. Have you ever tried to fight it? Maybe you could escape it with your own willpower. Believe me, there were times when I tried very hard to break free. It's impossible. What about the god of the surface? Since you're the beacon, could you ask for help? God doesn't talk to me. What about your little fish friends? Could they, like, swarm together and swim you away? Can't just summon them. Besides, they never interfere with prophecies. Well, can't you use magic or something? I don't know any magic. Really? The beacon doesn't know magic? No abilities? No anything? No, I don't. Sorry I'm not the amazing magical beacon you thought I'd be. No, I I didn't mean it like that. Hmm. Uh I mean You are amazing. Even your tail is stunning. It's beautiful. Huh? 
things. 